but I do like, like for example, the IoT, the OT, SCADA, Active Directory, etc., etc. All these topics um, are actually rare nowadays to 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 find in a one certification. So I was seeking for a certification like this, and I found the CFINT one of the most, uh, if 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 it's not like the only certificate that actually um, concentrate on them all together. So um, I reached one of uh, CPENT uh, or EC Council uh, partners asking him about the CPENT, getting, getting more information about it, etc., etc. And after that, he introduced me to the certificate um, through email. I found it pretty good, actually. Um, so what I did is simply I purchased the certificate and I introduced to it to the iLabs, for example, for practicing, um, to also the, the party that holds the content and syllables, um, how to use them, etc., etc. It was fun. It was actually quite interesting experience as I spent about like two months preparing for the CPENT. Um, and I, I took some time, to be honest, to prepare for it because I wanted to make sure that I covered the content. The content was um, good. It was actually the most useful uh, 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 part um, of, of my preparing for the CPENT as, as it covers actually everything that could, could come in the exam. But I also used some um, other uh, content available in the internet just to go deep into the knowledge because the knowledge that's presented in the CPENT exam was actually very, very um, deep and very, very uh, useful for me. So I wanted to dig more deep on that content. So.